Hey crafting friends, happy Sunday crafternoon. This is Dawn Burgett with Dawn's Creative Chalet and I'm glad that you're here. I wanna make sure I'm in the right spot. I'm actually a couple seconds early. Um, yep, looks like I'm in the right spot. That's pretty awesome. So as you come on, make sure to say hi and where you are viewing from. Um, I like to take care of a couple of housekeeping things before we get started with our crafting today. Today we're going to be working with, just to show you guys, this set right here, which is called Island Vibes, and it is a celebration set. This means that with a minimum of a $50 order, you can purchase, well, you don't have to purchase it, you get it for free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, free. Now this set, I was a little perplexed with, but I'm going to show you a couple things that I've made and then we're going to make a card in just a couple minutes. So before we get started with that, just want to share a couple things with you guys. First of all, first and foremost, our biggest promotion of the year is still going on until the end of this month, so the end of February. Today, by the way, is the 13th of February and this is Facebook Live number 18, 18 weeks. I love it. So exciting. So <laughs> anyway, a uh, celebration is going on until the end of this month. And if there's anything else that you would like to get in here, make sure to do so um, as we are approaching near the end. It's, it's crazy. We're almost, almost the middle of February, right? Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. So yeah, we're going to play with this set today. Um, also, just to let you know, we have our mini catalog that is um, active until the end of June. And you guys, I was just looking on our inventory status report because Stampin' Up! no longer is letting us back order items. And um, hey, Evelyn, hi. You getting ready for Super Bowl? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so anyway, as I was looking through this, uh, there's some things that are not orderable already and it's kind of making me a little anxious so if you guys see things in this catalog that you want um, especially if they're bundles I I am seeing a trend on the bundles the the dies um, if you want the cloud punch that's on low inventory some of our dies are not orderable so if you're trying to order a bundle it's gonna say it's not orderable, but at least grab the stamp set so you can grab the dies later um, as an option, okay? And what was I, oh, 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 never mind. I don't wanna show you that yet. <laughs> and then of course we have our annual catalog. So there's a lot of great stuff in here, but you know what? I find that I forget about everything that's in here. And this is also the catalog that you'll find all of our meat and potatoes, you know, all of our uh, color coordination as far as our cardstocks and our inks and ribbons and embellishments and all the other good things and other bundles that are available even though our mini catalog has been very very popular now there's something else that I wanted to point out to you guys about this and the reason why I had this page marked as I was looking through our inventory status report I'm noticing that both of our sets of in colors, if you're wanting the ink pads, they are on low inventory. Now this set right here, these five colors, the Cinnamon uh, Cider, Just Jade, Bumblebee, Magenta Madness, which is one of my favorites, and the um, Misty Moonlight, these five colors are going to retire. So if you want these, I would suggest grabbing these up now. Usually I say this in April because then we have a change over to a new catalog as we get into May. But um, with the way things are right now and the crazy shipping issues and supply issues, if you're wanting any of these, get them now, okay? Um, I'll give you my link for my online store in just a minute. Also, these are on low inventory these will be carrying over these five colors. So that's the Fresh Freesia, uh, Polished Pink, um, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Pale Papaya. 
So anyway, so these are getting a low inventory right now, unable to purchase sets of colors. So if you wanted all the subtles or the brights, right now they're not available, but you can purchase some individual colors. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know on that for sure. Okay, so heads up. So I keep saying that if there's something that you want, grab it, just get it. Don't think about it, get it. <laughs> because otherwise it's not gonna be there when you want it. Um, also, I wanna to talk to you guys again about the kits. So I received a new kit in the mail. Uh, let's see here, where did I put it? Oh, it's buried, let me grab it. <laughs> If you guys could see my room right now, it's like an explosion happened. So um, a new kit came in the mail and I think it's pretty cool. And what's really neat is there's a lot of options with this little guy. They give you four different, no, excuse me, two different double-sided pieces of 12 by 12 DSP. So this is a 12 by 12 frame. It's magnetic. They give you the magnet sheet. And then you can uh, decorate it the way you want. They give you the clips that have the magnets on them. They give you a whole gazillion bunch of the three by four cards. And I have a lot of them stashed in here. Um, they give you cardstock stickers, which I use to decorate. I did add some bling, surprise, surprise, because it has to sparkle, you know. Um, but I am also thinking that there are some other limitless options with this. And of course, you know me, I really like to schnaz things up a bit. So I'm thinking a set of three on my wall right over there. <laughs> and I'm gonna do some different things. I have some ideas in my head, so stay tuned. I'm hoping that um, what is in my noggin can project onto these. But anyway, they are $25. Like I said, they just came out. Um, and once again, <laughs> don't wait. If you think you like it, get it okay guys um i <laughs> i don't know it's crazy crazy times and then also you've heard me talk about kits and so i purchased this one and got it last week and put it together so this is a sample of what one of our 19 dollar kits is all about so the kits are just something you can purchase at any time if um you want to purchase it just to have a little extra something to do on the side on a rainy day, a snow day, uh, with the kids, the grandkids, on a plane, train, and an automobile. You got it. It goes anywhere. So basically, you get everything but paper snips in this kit. And I think it's just flipping adorable. And with this particular one, I think it's called Weather, No Matter the Weather card kit. And like I said, they give you the, the, um, the stamps. And they also, and it's covered in here, a block for your stamps. And they give you an ink spot, which is super cute, that coordinates with your kit. Uh, embellishments that I didn't fully use, and glue dots. And let's see here. Oh, here's the stamp set. Okay. So just some super cute cards. And of course, the envelopes coordinate with the cards. So pretty darn adorable. So that's one of them, just as a sample, uh, where you get to uh, stamp, actually stamp. And if you're a beginner, avid crafter, somewhere in between, these are perfect. I love to just sit down and do these and not have to really think about it. But what's really cool, like what a lot of gals do with the paper pumpkin kits is they do a lot of alternate ideas with these as well. So if you're one of those very super creative, have a lot of mojo kicking in, you can do a lot of stuff with these. Um, it would also make some cute embellishments on a scrapbook page. So anyway, that is one of the kits where you can stamp with. And then I have my very favorite kit. And I'll show you guys this one. This is called Notes of Cheer. I love this kit absolutely no stamping and it's a $12 kit. I mean, talk about a great value, right? Um, again, they're great for beginners, especially if they're, if you're somebody who's like not real sure about the stamping thing yet, but you want to make some cards. So check these out. I think that they're so pretty. Look at all the bling. <laughs> and yes, you get the bling with this kit. So, and again, and you get the envelopes 
uh, to go with it. Check out these cute envelopes, you guys. I love the scallop on the envelope. And look at the butterfly. It's actually a butterfly-shaped card. I love that. I mean, who wouldn't like to get one of these in the mail, right? And then there's this one, which I just adore. So there's three different cards that you can assemble. Love the bling. It's pretty. All right. So I just wanted to show you. I talk about it, but it's always nice to actually see some of the product, right? So those are part of our kit collection along with that board. Now the, the board that I just showed you that I put together, that is $25. You can get all these at my online store, which, which is Dawn's Creative Chalet dot stampin up dot net. All right. In fact, we will, where did I put it? We'll put that right there. <laughs> okay, so I see I told you about the kits. Um, also, I was checking the inventory on this right here. So if you're wanting the all together complete collection, apparently it's this whole collection, the gotta have it all button is not available. So I'm thinking what it is, is the dies. I'm thinking, you know, I didn't see that though. Let me double check here. So I'm a little perplexed. Or no, 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 erase that. I'm sorry, it's low inventory. So you can still get, you can still get the gotta have it all button. It's on low inventory. So if you want one of everything, uh, using the one item number of 160, let's see, 160094. Whoop, sorry, 160941. 160941 is the gotta have it all button <laughs> for 105. Um, grab it sooner than later because it is on low inventory. Just to let you guys know about this particular collection, the only thing that's going to carry over are the blends. And right now you can purchase them as a collection, but I believe as we get it into our new annual catalog, they're only going to let you purchase them as sets of two. Um, you purchase them like foundation colors. It's kind of cool. And these are not two of the same color. They are different shades of, okay? Um, also, the black and white paper is six by six in size. I love this stuff, love it. What's really cool is you can color any color with the black and white that you're coordinating a project with. And of course, you guys have seen some, um, some really cute ideas that I have shown you in previous Facebook Lives. And if you haven't seen it, please go to my blog, dawnscreativechalet.com, and you'll find the previous Facebook Lives there. Um, or on YouTube. And if you guys are on YouTube and you're checking out my channel, make sure to click on the subscribe button and also the little bell. That black, The bell will turn black. That means that you'll get all the notifications of every video that I post. Okay? All right. Let's see what else. Oh, I have more good news for you. So I was also doing a little roaming around and... This here, our new paper pumpkin kit uh, for March. <laughs> I have to think about what day it is, what month it is, <laughs> right? But anyway, um, I wanted to mention something about this that I did not know. So this is the reason why Dawn needs to read. So with the March kit, so you can sign up until the 10th of March to get March's kit. It's called Beyond the Horizon. And let's see, where did my catalog go? I wanna show you guys something. So it's going to coordinate with this product, okay? So if you have a love affair with this like I do, <laughs> you're going to love the March Paper Pumpkin Kit, right? So um, with that being said, I found out with the March kit that, and I wrote some notes on the back, you're going to be able to make nine cards with the coordinating envelopes, uh, three of each design. So three different designs, three each. 
Also, the best news is that you're going to get an extra stamp set in this kit. So for those of you who love a great value, okay, normally we get one set in each kit and we get a little ink spot. So we have ink. And when you first join uh, Paper Pumpkin, you'll also get a block. So in case you are a beginner and if you've never stamped before, possibly, we got to get you stamping. <laughs> but anyway, they'll give you a block, an acrylic block for your stamps. So you stick the stamps on the block so you can stamp. But anyway, um, you're getting an additional set of stamps. I have no idea what they're going to look like. But so we're going to get two sets of stamps for March. Pretty awesome. Also, with the original uh, stamp set, is going to have, I did read, um, like, thanks, hello, thinking of you, and then it says, and so many more. And like I said, I told you about the bonus stamp set, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so you guys, this would be a great time to join Paper Pumpkin, right? And the other reason why I wanted to mention this as well, we do have uh, one month, three month, six month, and 12 month for our Paper Pumpkin subscriptions. And the reason why I'm talking about this again is because in March, Paper Pumpkin is going to increase in price to $23.50 a month, which still is not bad for the value of it. It really isn't. But if you want to lock in getting it for $22 a month, for an example, and if you do it by the end of February, and if you get a minimum of a three month subscription, you'll be able to choose at least a minimum of one celebration item. So you're getting even more for your dollars, right? Now, if you choose to do the 12 month, you will get basically one kit for free. So you're paying for 11, getting the 12th for free, okay? So this is again, prepaid, and then you're gonna get all the celebration that you want, you, that you can pick, okay, for, I think it's like two, 238 for the whole year, which is pretty awesome. So you're also getting one kit for free and you're getting a lot of celebration products that you can choose out of the celebration brochure. So anyway, and you'll get locked into the price and it will not go up on you. So even if you already are a subscriber, you can do this. You can go ahead you can take care of a year in advance. I'm preparing to do that myself before the end of this month because I get it as a subscription continuously. So, and if you do that, you can do this as well. And then it will kick into what you've pre-purchased. And yeah, I mean, why not, right? Better value. We love to save money and we love free stuff. I know I do. So anyway, I wanted to mention that to you once again just because as it gets closer to the end of this month, right? Um, I'd like to I like to save you guys a little bit of money. <laughs> All right, also, something that's coming up starting in March, I'm gonna tease you a little bit. Uh, because if you wanna join Stampin' Up! right now and the Creative Chalet Stampers, why wouldn't you? Um, right now, you could put this into your kit. So otherwise, customers cannot get this until March the 1st, and it will be available till the 2nd of May. And it's a new collection called Ways of the Ocean. And again, you can get the Gotta Have It All button, and it will give you one of everything here. Let me show you what it is. It's so cool. I love it. And I'm going to show you a card that I've made with it. I'm not going to show you all of them, but I'm going to tease you with one. So there is the stamp set and the dies, and then you can purchase it for 10% off as a bundle. Then we also have the 12 by 12 designer series paper, which is absolutely gorgeous. There is also um, the 12 by 12 foil paper, which is beautiful. And that's in the colors of Coastal Cabana, Knight of Navy, and Silver. And then we also have these really beautiful gems right here that coordinate with the whole thing. So um, again, this is gonna be available March 1st, but if you wanted to, you could put this into a starter kit right now. And um, the whole collection is $79.25, and you get to pick up to $125 a product, right? 
Cool. And then also you'll get free shipping, which is just a uh, just above $12 of savings. They're going to throw in a paper pumpkin kit, which is another $22. And, 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 wait, there's more. So I put together a sample kit, and I know that this is going to explode. <laughs> and it's going to be like, oh my God, I can't see it all, right? So in fact, I kind of buried you guys. I'm gonna get back to where I can see you. There you are. Okay, so with that being said, just for an example, you get to also pick two free stamp sets in your starter kit. What's really cool, I decided to look for the most expensive stamp set, one of them at least, that is in the catalog, and that's this one right here. This stamp set is $39 normally, and if you like a lot of verbiage, you can get this for free in your kit. Again, this set itself is $39, the stamp set. And then I picked out another one uh, that I think was right around 25-ish or so. Anyway, and I just picked out this one to throw in there. But someone was asking, well, what is the most expensive stamp set that I could choose? And that would be a wish for everything. So this would be a great one to grab for free, right? $39 in the savings right there. That's not even including the free shipping, you know, and joining our awesome Creator Shelley team. We are a pretty fun bunch and we have challenges and all kinds of fun stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to run that by you. And if you're interested or if you have more questions, please reach out to me. I am here, I'm an open book. Oh, I forgot to show you the card. So anyway, <laughs> oh, I get to talking way too much, right? So anyway, if you are interested in joining, um, you know, like I said, reach out to me. I can help you. Or you can just go yourself to my online store and there's a join button and you can go ahead and fill your, um, your starter kit with whatever you want. Whatever you want, up to $125 a product. So it's a, it's a really, really good value. And not only that, you get to join a community that is like no other. Stampin' Up! demonstrators and my team they're pretty awesome so um, if you're looking for a community of crafters that just love the product um, come join us we'd love to have you so anyway so that's the link to get to my online store and all the other goodies and then I wanted to show you the waves of the ocean promotion so here's the card I made Ooh, <laughs> isn't that cool? And then I used the, the new gems on it as well. It's very pretty. I kind of I like it. So anyway, that's a sneak peek on that. Oh, and I didn't, oh, you guys. And if you can see, I didn't do the other part of the cloud on this one, but can you see the indentation in the cloud? So it makes it look kind of dimensional too. It's really cool. You guys are gonna want this, seriously. Okay. Are we ready to stamp? Woohoo! All right. So we're going to play with Island Vibes today. And as you can see, I was feeling kind of Island Vibe-ish, maybe a little bit of um, pineapple-ish. <laughs> got to dress for the part, right? Um, let's see. I kind of got some inspiration here. Let me show you. Let me show you some cards that I did with this. And then we'll go with what we're actually going to play with. Okay. So, Island Vibes. So, I was looking on Pinterest for some inspiration because I was a little, like I said, perplexed with this particular stamp set. Um, this is our note cards and envelopes. If you guys don't like to cut your paper, yet you want the size that will still fit through the mailbox or the postage, um, these are three and a half by five, and there are note cards and envelopes. And I believe there's 20 note cards and 20 envelopes for like $6, $6.50, something like that. I'd have to double check. But anyway, super reasonable. And they're the thick white card stock. They're awesome. And like I said, the envelopes to go with. So anyway, I stamped this. I used our daubers on this one to give it a little bit more dimension. I seen this card on Pinterest. I forgot who it was who made it. But then I added a little extra something to it. I cut this out. And then we have this card here. Whoa, <laughs> my card's falling apart. Okay. Anyways, we have this card right here. 
So I cut out the pineapples on this one and I used some of the artfully composed designer series paper, which I think kind of goes with it, sort of, kind of, sort of. <laughs> and I'll show you the paper in a minute, just to give you guys a reminder. It's also in the mini catalog. And then the sentiment is from another stamp set that you can get during celebration with a $100 minimum order. Um, oh my goodness, what is it called? Sentiment, something, oh lordy. I'm having brain fart today. And of course, I don't know, oh here it is. Silly me. So it's towards the back. And I really like this set because there's a lot of sayings that we haven't had in our in our catalogs. So it's this set right here for $100 minimum order. And I used the Hello Sunshine on it. I thought that was kind of cute to go with the whole, I don't know, island vibe theme. And then I also had seen a card made with different colors, but the same kind of layout-ish. Make sure that this is stuck down here before I show it to you. So this one here, I used the Stitch Rectangle Framelits, stamped the pineapple in different colors. I kind of pulled the same colors that were in the Artfully Composed uh, DSP. And those colors are Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Evening Evergreen, Just Jade, Mint Macaron, Old Olive, Pale Papaya, and Pear Pizzazz. So you can barely see the DSP behind it, but I thought I just want to give a little extra something on that. And then this right here we're going to play with today. And that is from this. Amazing Silhouettes. And the bundle is 44. You can purchase things separately though. And I am going to use this right here today with the mini stamp and cut and emboss. So I will leave those out because we will need those. And this is the paper, just to kind of remind you guys of what it is. We're gonna use this one today, I think, unless we change our mind while we're creating because we we have that option right i love it it's fun it's a lot of fun and it makes me want to go on vacation somewhere anywhere i don't even care just take me away and then also i had a little inspiration from this card this was one of my um swap cards and so it gave me a little inspiration for the card that we're going to make today which is this one, but this guy is gonna go on steroids. We're gonna dress him up a little bit. We're gonna kick it up a notch or two. I don't know, you guys, hold on to your pants. You might not be able to handle this. <laughs> so anyway, this is kind of what we're going by, but I wanted to do a little bit more, kind of like step it up, okay? This is like more of a casual stamper card. We're gonna go to possibly Avid. What do you say? You guys up to the challenge? So I'm using a piece of Just Jade cardstock. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. The inside piece, which I like to have a little liner inside my card, this is basic white at four by five and a quarter. I also cut for the front layer of the card. We're actually gonna use two layers and these are both cut at three and a half by five. And this is that artfully composed paper and a piece of Whisper White. All right, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and fold this guy first and get my bone folder out here, something that I forgot to grab. So who all is going to watch the Super Bowl today? I hate to admit it, but um, I have no idea what the game of football is all about other than I know that they need to do touchdowns. And I have no idea where they're running and why they're running, other than that they need to make a touchdown. Now I know Evelyn, who's watching, will laugh at me because I know she's a diehard Lions fan. But Evelyn, since you're here, who are you going to cheer on? Since of course the Lions, <laughs> our poor Lions, oh, <laughs> they try hard. Um, 
are not going to be playing today. I'm curious, what is your prediction? <laughs> I knew you'd say that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm a hot mess, aren't I? <laughs> All right, so before we put these um, uh, our elements down, I wanted to go ahead, and this is just Jade. <laughs> You crack me up. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. And um, our blending brushes. I'm really loving these, you guys. Yeah. I think the last couple weeks I've used these. Um, <laughs> the Rams. Okay. Who's, okay, the quarterback is, okay, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm going to guess it. His last name is Stafford. Is it Matt? Matt Stafford? Wasn't he on the Lions team? And then he gets off the Lions team, and then he gets into the Super Bowl. See, I do know a little something. Come on, you guys. Be impressed. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I will probably watch because it's going to be what's on the TV. And um, I'll watch for the commercials. You know, why not? Um, I hear that General Motors has a really cute one today. I've seen a snippet of it. And then I also heard that, um, well, that's weird. There must be something on my table that's making an indent on that. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Um, I hear that there's a commercial that's going to play with the Clydesdales Budweiser, and that it's going to make me cry. I'm like, I don't want to cry. I cry at commercials. Do you guys cry at commercials? <laughs> oh my goodness sakes. Hey, Kristen. Hi. Happy Sunday. Happy Crafternoon. All right. So we went ahead. We kind of zhuzhed it up a little bit because you know me in white space. Now, I have a question for you guys. Do we do these again? Uh, what are these? They're plants. <laughs> They're just plants. They must be some kind of a tropical plant. Um... Somebody will correct me eventually. Or shall we do pineapples today? Because I'm dressed like a pineapple. So you guys vote. Pineapples or plants? I'll wait a second. I know that there's a delay with Facebook Live. So we're going to wait. Um, while I'm waiting for you guys to vote on that, let's see here. Which would be better? This might be too busy. I don't know. Although it might be kind of cool. Hmm... Pineapples! All right, pineapples win. Okay, now I have another question for you guys. Do we do the printed? Or should we do more conservative and just do the, I don't know, it's, it's got a print in it, but it's a very faint print. I don't know, what do you guys think? Print or no print? Hmm. I'll wait a second again, give you guys a second to think about that. And while you are, I'm going to grab my favorite, very favorite thing that I can't live without, and that's dimensionals. Go funky. Okay, I'm with you guys. Let's go funky, man. Let's do funky. I'm all about being funky. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. So like I said, this is a piece uh, cut at three and a half by five. And we're just going to go funky. There we are. Sweet. And then again, another piece of three and a half by five. In fact, I could have gone a little smaller so it would show more of the paper because I feel like I'm wasting that pretty print. But it's okay. It's all good. Okay. So, we're going to do some funky pineapples, and maybe like that one, like so, oops, there, I don't know, something like that. Need to get this little guy out. How many of you guys have this cute little mini cutter? <clears throat> oh my goodness, I got frogs in my throat. I'm going to shake you a little bit, I'm sorry. Um, where did my plates go? Here they are. I love this little guy, and I don't know if you guys know, but in our catalogs, if you see the little emblem of this next to your item number, that means that all the dies that are that go with that particular bundle 
will fit in here because this one is not as wide or long as our regular sized stamp and cut and emboss machine. So just a little FYI on that. If you're looking for a little reference on what will fit through here, anything with that little picture of this next to the item number means all of them, all the dies will fit through. Okay, so I need, I need my thanks. And we're going to do a little extra. Um, I grabbed a couple pieces of scrap. This is mint macaron and this is Calypso coral. So I think we'll do the background. I love these because they layer together so nicely. And you'll see what I mean in a minute, hopefully. I don't want to like shake you guys all over the place. I'm afraid of the shaky, shaky thing. Let me see here. Okay. Scoot that through. And then it's not going to, oh my gosh. Like I'm afraid it's going to go flying. I might. <laughs> oh, do I have that in there right? I do. Like I said, it's just sliding and I don't want it to fly because my, my laptop is seriously right next to me. I tell you what. I'm just, I don't trust myself. So we're gonna use the one that's behind me because the last thing I need is a disaster because I am a master of disaster. And if you could have seen what happened last week, oh my Lord, it was a disaster. So bear with me a second. I'm cutting behind you. So sorry, I hate to have to do that, but like I said, it could be really bad. <laughs> and I just, I don't know, it could, yeah. Okay, anyway, so that's the back side. And then I'm gonna cut the thanks in mint macaron. The things that happen or don't happen when you go live, right? I have to laugh at myself because if I didn't, who would? Okay, and then this is going to layer on top. There we are. Sweet. Okay. Actually, what I should have done, if I would have been thinking, we have adhesive sheets where you can make things that you cut out into like stickers, which is really cool because it would save me from having to do what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it would make things a lot easier than you just peel it off and the entire thing is a sticker. I'll have to show you guys that on one of my lives next. That'll be a to-do. Anyway, I don't wanna get too much of this on the back of this, cause that'll be a hot mess. So I just, little spots here and there. I have a love-hate relationship with liquid glue because I get it all over me and then every every project that I do then sticks to me. Can you guys relate? <laughs> and I'm gonna hold my breath while we stick this down. Oh, isn't he cute? Yay. All right. Like I said now, hey, hi Linda, how are you? It's good to see you. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Okay, so, isn't that cute? So we're just dressing it up a little bit, right? We're going a little crazy today. Now also I've grabbed my dimensionals and we're going to put the pineapples on dimensionals. So does everybody have the munchies all set to go in the oven and ready to rock and roll with um, the happenings of the day. <laughs> All right. I found more of these little dimensionals the other day. I was finally taking the time to clean my house. I know, it's a miracle <laughs> because I get distracted by pretty things in here. You know, who wants to clean the house, right? We have stamping to do. But um, anyway, I found a, a few of these in the bathroom, on the floor, um, in the kitchen. 
Ruby has had one stuck to her nose. For those of you who don't know Ruby, Ruby is my older of the two Cocker Spaniels. Um, yeah, <laughs> never did, never a dull moment around here. Okay, oh, that's kind of fun. That's kind of cool. All right, and then what I'm gonna do, because I popped this up with a dimensional, I'm gonna need something under here so it doesn't look concaved, if that makes sense. So, <clears throat> I think I grabbed somewhere here, aha, right in front of me, some mini dimensionals so that these will fit and I won't have to cut the larger. Yes, we do have mini dimensionals and we also have them in uh, black in case you're working with dark colors and if you don't want them to show, ooh, well, maybe we'll take a chance on that. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, we are cooking with gas. Okay. And I'm going to put a little of adhesive. In fact, I'm going to use the... I always call this, I know you guys laugh about it every week I say it, but I call it green glue and it's not green glue. It just is green on the packaging. I'm going to go ahead, put that there like so. All right. He's almost done. I'm getting excited. But I think, I think we need some of these. I love these. I think I've gone through way too many packs of these. Uh, let's see. Let me get my picket tool and let's add, let's add some of these. How fun is that? Oh, I love it. So much fun. I think, I'm an accessory girl anyway, but I think the accessories are what make a card a card, right? It's all those little extra things. So there we go. I like that you guys chose the, the pattern paper. I think that looks really cool. So here's more of a casual and here's more of a, I don't know. I was on a, on a um, video chat yesterday on Zoom uh, and one of the gals who just earned her million dollar in sales, she's from Michigan. And she calls her card layering like this a 20 pound card. I had to laugh, but she does add a lot of stuff to her cards. But the more you add, I think really adds to it. In fact, you know what? Let's do this. So I don't know if you guys have seen this in the catalog. I think it's getting overlooked. I love linen thread. I am now out of linen thread, so I have some on order, but I forgot I had this. And this is the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. And you get all of these colors, all of them for, what was it, $11. Not bad, right? When you consider linen thread is what, four, $4, I think? Anyway, I think we'll go ahead and we'll add just a little extra something because we can. And if we don't like it, we can always remove it, right? All right, let's see if I can do this while I'm live. I don't know. I'm taking a risk. I need some scissors. All right, and a glue dot. And if you guys are wondering again, everything that I've used, what I'm going to do is I started a blog post. So you can go over to my blog, which is dawnscreativechalet.com. And I'm looking for my picket tool again. Anyway, everything will be listed on my blog with links as well. So, oh, let's see, we'll put that there. Oh, isn't that cute? Love it. Oh my gosh, oh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. And I really liked the way it turned out. I had no idea what I was going to do. Like I said, I didn't know if I should do the same card. And then I thought, you know, why not cut a couple of extra things just in case? So I kind of dig this set. It's a lot of fun. Um, so again, you can get this for free during celebration through the end of this month. So make sure to check it out. Anyway, thanks you guys for popping on today and for watching and hanging out with me for a little bit. Um, I appreciate you being here. Make sure to share this with your friends because the more exposure that I have, the more people get to view it. And that's what it's all about, right? That's exactly why I'm doing these. 
is just to expand uh, my business a little bit and reach more people. And once again, if you're on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and click on that little bell on YouTube and check out my blog because I'm trying to blog. Oh, speaking of my blog, you guys, tomorrow, go to dawnscreatorchalet.com. It's going to post, it's either at 4 or 4.15 tomorrow afternoon. And I'm part of a blog hop. And you got to see the cards that I made. They're really super cool. I used just a kind of a, a sneak, a sneak hint. <laughs> I used vellum. I used um, our Stampin' Blends alcohol-based markers. And I used 91% isotropial. I said that right, didn't I, Evelyn? Isotropial alcohol and Q-tips. Hmm. What in the heck did she do? <laughs> but it it's so cool and the results are awesome and you can make some super simple pretty amazing cards with those items. So make sure to check out my blog tomorrow afternoon. But otherwise, you guys have a great afternoon. I hope that the team that you're cheering for wins. I'm going to say I'm going to cheer for the the team that's closest to Michigan, which I believe is the Bengals, because <laughs> obviously the LA Rams are out in California. So I'm gonna be the rebel. I'm gonna go with the underdog. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope that you have a great afternoon. And thanks again so much for joining me. And I can't wait to stand with you again next Sunday, right here at one o'clock in the afternoon for Sunday Crafternoon with Dawn. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.